Lord, prepare to be a sanctuary.
in the tower. It had never been appraised, but everybody could tell that it, it was a prized jewel. The queen accepted it, hugged his neck, and they went on their way. Later it was appraised by folks that does that and found out it was of great worth. Many said, Bobby, I bet that boy after he's grown up wish he'd have kept that. He would have sold it, would have never had to work a day in his life. But after he had grown and became a mature man, He went back to the castle, introduced himself to the guards. They took him in and he told him, he said, I'd like to see that jewel that I brought to the queen many years ago. They took him in to the museum there that they, where they placed that prize jewel. He said, I'd like to hold it again. And many of them wondered, well, is he going to try to take it back? Is he going to try to, has he changed his mind? As he stood and held that prize jewel in his hands, Jeremy, he asked one of the guards, he said, would you go get the queen? She had aged many years. Bobby, they went and got the queen. He stood before again with that prize jewel. Now really realizing what it was worth. Lee, he looked at Queen the eye and he said, many years ago when I first presented this to you, I wanted you to have it with all of my heart. But being a young lad, I didn't really realize what I was doing. But today, after I've grown and I realized the worth of this jewel, he said, it's my honor, my privilege to present it to you again. I'll do it all over again. Folks will have, they'll renew their wedding vows. They'll do all sorts of things in that suite. How many of us as Christians would say, Lord, I was young at that time. Oh, yeah. But now that I really, really, really know. Come on, now that I realize all the roads my life could have went. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that I still choose you. To be a Lord and Savior of my life. Yes, Do it all over. I don't regret to have the courage that Alex and Heather had. They wanted to come to this altar. 
They just couldn't build up the courage. And I want them to know that their pastor, Pastor Richard, was feeling the same way that they're feeling this morning when he got saved. He wanted to go to the altar so bad. But he just didn't have the courage. So I had to get down in the seat, kneel at the seat where I was seated. And I ask you into my heart. Help folks to realize they can do the same thing. While they sit in their seat right now, Lord, they can say, every head's bowed and every eye is closed. They can say, Jesus, I want to be as Alex and Heather. I want you to come into my heart and life. I want you to save me. I want to be a Christian. I realize that I'm lost without you. Lord, I don't enjoy being lost. It's scary being lost. I realize that if I'm lost, if I leave this world lost, I'm going to hell forever. But oh Lord, I, I've got the knowledge to know that if I accept you as my Lord and Savior, I won't be lost anymore, but I'll be ready go to heaven so I ask you into my heart and I ask you into my life I ask you to help me Lord I'll do my best help me Lord when I fall that I would get up and I would always remember to say Lord forgive me help me to grow through faith in you Lord I am now saved and I'm now forgiven. And I'm happy to say that I'm a Christian. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Every head still bowed and every eyes closed. He said, Brother Richard, I ask the Lord into my heart too. Could you slip your hand up good and high and say, The Lord save me, Richard. Could you do that? Anybody? Special place to be, isn't it? 